Okay, so that was probably just a little bit dramatic, wasn't it? But this is a dramatic moment for me. For me. You guys don't even know who I am. I'm just a guy in his room talking to himself on a webcam to nobody. Alone. By himself. With no job. Damn. It's lonely in here. That's okay though, because I can just pretend like you guys are watching and commenting down below and letting me know what you think of the video. Come on, you can do it. Don't make me hold the video hostage now. I'm just kidding, I wouldn't do that. Or would I? All jokes aside, let's load up the game. <laughs> That's gonna look cool, dude. Okay, so now getting into the character creation on day one. We did this a lot. The reason for this is because I was stumped on if I should play a mage, a class I have a better part of no idea on how to play, or something that's been my go-to for as long as I can remember, a warrior. I literally made my character over and over and over because by the time I got to level 10, I had mixed feelings about the class I was going to take. And I just delete them and make a new character because I wanted the name. Um, honestly, that's why I got so fast with the appearance. I mean, look at this. It's like I knew what I was doing. <laughs> I mean... Anyway, uh, we chose Warrior simply because it's something I enjoy the most. Being able to tank and DPS on one character is something I want anyways because I plan to tank raids later down the road. Let's get into some gameplay on day one and see how far we got. Okay, so we log into the world of Warcraft and we decide to use the Exiles Reach starting zone. I remember doing this right before Shadowlands released, I believe, and it was actually not as polished as it is now. It looks like they've made a few adjustments to not only the story here, but the way you interact with some of the quests. It's pretty much the same concept as it was like two to three years ago, but it just looks nicer now, so nice. I do have heirloom gear, but I've decided not to use it this time around, just to get a little bit more of that new player experience. Every bit of that counts nowadays, you know? Doing this, I actually got into a pretty intense fight here with the bear on the starter island. This quest recommends you have three players, but screw that. Nobody does that for this guy. I never did, so <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna do it. Something unbelievable actually happened. I actually died to this guy. And now, I was actually doing everything I was supposed to do. Like, I feel like this is actually pretty darn tuned, at least for the warrior. For a mage, I was just, you know, I was slaughtering him like I normally do. Um, but even in just like the regular gear that I had, I'm kind of surprised, you know, that I, died to this guy that's crazy to me but anyway we ended up killing him and off the island we went once we entered orgamar i decided to skip the little tutorial for the city because if i remember right that drags on forever especially if i can't fly and we'll just learn about it later if anything's moved or changed let's just keep it a surprise we headed over to Chromie and changed it over to wrath of the lich king and i wanted to do a few dungeons here as a tank just to get my feet wet right away Surprisingly enough, the queue was actually pretty long. I had to wait nearly six minutes each queue as a tank. The new Dark Heart event or patch is happening, whatever that is. I'm sure we'll see it at some point, but I think that's why the queues are so messed up at the moment. Either way, I just wanted to do a few dungeons just to make sure I have what it takes to do the job, and we're looking pretty damn good so far, considering I haven't even touched this game since the first raid in Shadowlands, so yeah. I switched over to a few different timelines and it was pretty much the same thing with the queues, but that was fine because I wanted to go and actually quest again. Now I didn't pick this expansion based on the speed of the leveling as most people probably would. I actually chose it because this was when I really started getting into the game. I'm talking like I actually started leveling multiple characters to max level so I could earn some pretty good cash doing dailies, garrison missions, and farming garrison resources. This was probably the most fun I remember having in World of Warcraft, and I can't really explain why, but something about this expansion, it just did it for me. Even though Endgame didn't have much, or so I was told because that wasn't something I really did, the rest of the expansion was great for me, and I definitely enjoyed it. Okay, I just wanted to pause the video right here for a second just to clear something up. Uh, I don't want you guys attacking me thinking that I like the WAD story more than like any other story. Like... Wrath, for instance. Uh, I just meant in terms of playing, this was the one that got me hooked. So that's really just all I'm saying. Okay, back to the video. Okay, so we have to go down there. We shouldn't be up here. There we go. That's how a true warrior handles situations like this. Not like any of you would know. Wait, are you guys still here? 
Hey, you guys are here. <laughs> you want to see this, don't you? Yeah, you do, don't you, bitch? So as you can see, we're just flying through levels here. I'm not really trying to rush, but I really want to see what Endgame looks like now. Shadowlands was fun at first, but man, waiting for the content was terrible. So I'm really hoping we have a lot more stuff to do at Endgame this time around, just because we're towards the end of Dragonflight expansion, and I have no idea what goes on in that. So I'm really hoping we have tons of stuff to do, and uh, I hope the story looks good too, as well as any cinematics that might be in there. Also, I actually would join your guild if you bothered to send me a message. Now that this is up, that's probably not going to be the case just because I'd like to use a guild in-game to socialize with all you animals. So perhaps we'll get a guild made soon if it becomes a priority. Let me know if you'd like to join. I'm on the Illidan server by the way and I hope to see you guys soon. Leveling has slowed down a bit, not too much, but it's definitely a bit more noticeable now. Things are getting harder to kill. I basically just feel weaker the more this goes on. Eh, it's whatever. We're going to be a strong boy later on anyway, so not too worried. Okay, so we're pretty strong, dude. I can never solo gut smash. This is another group quest boss, and this guy hits like a tank. Well, a DPS tank, because he's tanky as well, but with damage. He's broken, basically. I beat him, though, this time, which is a first. Pretty cool. So during the Sleeper Has Awakened quest in the WAD story, I remember struggling a bit through this one as well, and it looks like the method I used to use works great still, so I just wanted to go over that a bit. This can obviously apply to other things that you do in the game, but um, I just wanted to give you a rundown of what I did here. This snake looking dude is pretty much just as tough as Gut Smash from the last clip. However, the great thing about this fight is all the little adds that are also here. We can AOE all of these down to our liking, but as a warrior, it's a good idea to keep some of them alive so we can keep using Victory Rush, or if you got the talent for it, Impeding Rush, I believe was what it's called. This allows us to heal after each kill we do, allowing us to sustain much longer in fights. And boom, it's dead. <sighs> I'm not gonna get a level from this. <sighs> Come on, man. Let's fucking go, dude. We finally got a shield, dude. We haven't gotten a shield upgrade once since we started, and we finally got one here. Thank God. Thank the heavens. An old habit I used to do, probably something a lot of people are familiar with, is posting up an Orgamar with a yak that people can repair armor, sell items, and do transmogs. This is just something I like to do before I go to bed at night to help out any newcomers or alts coming into the game. And no, this is not OSRS. Absolutely wild that someone with a name like that walks up during this clip. RuneScape's a game I've been playing for 20 years, so it just follows me, I guess. Okay, so we pay $15 a month for this? We're not gonna ask questions? We're just gonna leave it like this, huh? All right. How many of you guys remember this? Man, I used to love doing this. Look at this. These guys are just minding their own business up there, enjoying the sunshine, and here comes the champion of Azeroth to mess that all up for them. This was one of my favorite quests when this originally came out. Here, check this out. Yoink! <laughs> now it's time to die. I'm starting to feel much more comfortable again playing. Honestly, I haven't had to do too much with action bars and games as of late. Not as much as this anyways. A few buttons on other games, but this game obviously has a bit more going on in that department. So we continued leveling through WAD until about level 37, and then I started picking up dungeons again just to move things along a little bit faster. I just know later in the game I'll be doing tons of dungeons more often, so I'm trying not to do too many right now. We get good experience questing anyway, so it's not really a deal breaker at the moment. I have some goals for this account that I'll likely share in the next episode, but for now, I'd like to hear what you all would like to see in the series, and maybe I can add it to what I'm planning, or maybe it is what I'm planning. Right now, our focus is level 58, because usually we're allowed to enter into the new expansion underleveled, and I'm sure all of the zones in Dragonflight will get us to max level anyways, even coming in under level 60. Who knows though, maybe I can't even enter until level 60. I guess we'll find out. Well, I'll find out. Most of you watching probably already know if I can or not. I was curious, so I looked it up. We need level 60. Oh well, no problem. That was in the cards anyway. One thing I'd like to talk about is building a community up of like-minded people that are interested in playing the game together. I've always wanted to be able to gather a community together that can play the game like matured adults and deal with things in a civil manner. We're playing a game, and the point of this game is to have fun, not pick on people because you have an add-on that shows whether they've done the content or not. That's ignorant. 
This is the kind of shit I don't want to deal with, and I know many of you deal with this on a daily basis if you're max level. Unless they've changed the game, in which case, that'd be great. I don't have high hopes for that in only one expansion cycle, though. So basically where I'm getting at is if you want the freedom to be able to play the game with other people that don't want to deal with those same things, then check the description down below as well as the pinned comments for a Discord link. This Discord will not be up and running just yet, but you're welcome to stop in and fill it up for the time being and chat with myself and others that join in. All I ask is that you leave the video related comments on YouTube for now. The requirements to join, it's simple. Don't be a dick. You can be a mic, you just can't be a dick. Sorry, dick. Okay, so I'm gonna finish up leveling and get this video out to all of you wonderful people to see and enjoy. And if you made it all the way to the end here, comment down below letting me know saying, Welcome back to Azeroth. How about that? <laughs> Let me know. I'd really appreciate it. And thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys back in Azeroth very soon. Take care, guys.